An Arden daycare is cited after one of the owners spanked two children on two different occasions. News 13's Kimberly King joins us live from the Kitty Academy of Asheville with this developing story. And Kim, you spoke to one of the owners who actually spanked the children. What did she say? Tammy, she's apologizing, and she says that parents here were immediately notified of the two incidents. Now, according to the state, this is considered corporal punishment, but she is vowing she will never do it again. This is Kitty Academy of Asheville. The daycare opened August of last year, but a complaint filed seven days ago with the Division of Child Development and Early Education confirms one of the owners used corporal punishment to reprimand two children. That owner would be Vladi Lorenz. What happened is in both cases, um, children were misbehaving and it was um, something that I just wanted to get their attention. In one incident, Lottie says a three-year-old was outside by a fountain, spitting water on other children. On June 12th, she says an 18-month-old was pulling on a fire extinguisher. Vladi admits she spanked them both. So I did tap on their bath. We addressed it by talking to the state, speaking directly with the parents, and actually informing all the parents of the school that this, uh, this had happened. In both cases, there were no, no harm was done. I would say they didn't even feel what I did to them. I was honest with parents, you know, I, I told them what happened and how much I regret it. Vladi immediately sent an email notifying families of the complaint. The family of the three-year-old is pulling their child out. The family of the 18-month-old is not. Michael Duncan has his daughter here. He's satisfied with Vladi's apology, though his daughter was not involved. We don't feel like our daughter is in any harm's way here. Otherwise, we wouldn't have kept her here. Vladi and Jerry are married. They own the daycare and together say they've learned a serious lesson. We do uphold now very strict policy not to have corporal punishment in our school. Now, Kitty Academy is a franchise operation. We reached out to their corporate spokesperson, and he said that the company believes that corporal punishment should never be used as is policy and posted in all of their franchise operations, including this one. We also contacted DHHS, which is the agency investigating these incidents. A spokeswoman could not tell us how they learned about the incidents or if the incidents could put this company's license at risk, but the agency here says that they were the ones that contacted the state with the information. Reporting live off Hendersonville Road, Kimberly King, News 13.